Hey guys, what's going on? Keen Virus here with another episode of Game Dev Tycoon. So we're gonna jump right in here. Um, let's see. So last we left off, we made Lucifer, and it was a hit. Still ranked 25. That's really good. Now let's go ahead and see what we can research. What we we can we can get up to researching. Better dialogue, level editor, character progression. That's going to be my next one I want to get. Um, and a new topic, too. So we're going to start off with doing a dungeon sim um, for the PC on our second game engine. Um, we're gonna name it. We're gonna name it. Let's call it Dank. You know, like a dark and dank dungeon. Um, rated M. Let's see what happens. All right, no steering wheel. Linear story. Um, we're gonna want gameplay. The story is alright. I'll do an engine mainly though. Alright, and then dialogue can be brought down. Level design up. AI. Uh, right there. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> Oh, sorry. So we have 4.5 million dollars, so I'm not really worried about um, overspending right now. I'm gonna watch. We might hire somebody else, and we can start making medium games. Um, yeah, I think we'll do that next. So we'll keep that like that. All right. So 12 bugs. All right, so that's that. Um, we got a great combo on that. We're gonna miss get that all going. Um, now when these guys level up, they their uh, monthly pay goes up. So that's why I'm I'm a little wary on hiring somebody else, but I think we'd be okay. Now let's see if our scores. We're gonna do bad. Uh, five. A five. A six and a six all right so that's not too bad but it's not too good either I mean I think you guys know that by now um, I think we're gonna hire somebody else real quick we're just gonna do another all-around guy we'll research let's research better dialogue a new research level editor All right. Let's see. We want someone who's pretty good at both. Um, I think I'm gonna go with this guy, Paul Press. 21k per month over 17, but his speed is insane. Um, he's got better research as well. The only thing that's different is his tech is a little lower and his design is way high. Um, that's all right. All right, so now we will train him. Let that go. And you send him on vac. Send you on vacation? Can I not do that? No, I guess not. All right, today Ninvento announced the much-anticipated successor to the popular TES console. 
This is the greatest console we have ever built. It comes with the state-of-the-art 16-bit graphics and sound. So it's the Super TES. Um, fans around the world have been waiting for this moment, and it seems that they will not be disappointed. Now let's research a new topic. Oh, excuse me. We're going to do vampire. I think I want to do a vampire... Or, uh, I could do a vampire RPG. That'd be kind of cool. A mature one. So new contract work for medium-sized games. I think we're going to do some contract work. Let's do this one. Hopefully we can get it done in time. Alright, so it's pretty good. Yeah, we got this. Alright. And then we will... Research... Another new topic. Post-apocalyptic. Now we can do like a uh, Fallout game. That would be fun. Um, RPGs are definitely doing well right now, so let's start a new game. Let's do medium vampire RPG on the PC. Hopefully we can get it done in time. Um, let's call it... Um, Beating Frenzy. Rated Mature. 3D graphics. Alright, so now this is our first medium game, and um, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna have to assign these guys positions for them to um, work on. So I'll put engine down, we'll put gameplay like that. I think I want me on story because I have the best design level. And then gameplay is also a design, so I'll put Paul there, and then engine is tech, so I'll do that. Hopefully that does pretty well. Um, cross my fingers that this is be a good game, I don't want it to tank. Of course, the RPGs are no longer um, in, but that's alright. So now we got we want dialogue up, we want level design there and like that. So then we'll do me again. Put me on dialogue. Then design there and design there. And the thing with those if you saw on the sides I'll show you in a minute, um what that is is the bigger that that is, the less more stress they get and because of their workload. So right now I have an 84% workload, so what I'm going to do is um, bring that down there and bring that like that. So what I'll do is I'll put me here, so it brings me to 107, and then for world design I'll put him there. And see now, that's actually a really good workload. Um, so that's actually pretty pretty good. Uh, I didn't think it would work out that well. All right, we're just rocking it this game. <laughs> um, get all those bugs fixed real quick, and we're good. New records for both of them. Awesome. New engine, AI, graphics. All right, yeah, salary increase. Twenty-eight thousand. Multiplayer and AI companions. Let's get those guys done. Let's do multiplayer. Everybody likes multiplayer. Oh, looks like we're going to do kind of well. An 8. Very nice. Another 8. A 9 or a 10, please. Another 8. Alright, that's pretty good. Um, and, of course, a 6. All games? <sighs> I swear. I... I don't care about you anymore. You can die. 
All right, and then research AI. Can, no, we'll do character progression. And once we get AI, I think we'll make another engine. We might wait till the next graphics. Oh, so this is the Vony. This is the uh, Vony. Um, their play system. This is back when PlayStation was partnering with Nintendo to make the first PlayStation. Um, it had a CD drive, and it was like the, the Super Nintendo, but with a CD drive. And um, as soon as they did that, they yeah, everything went sour because of a deal they made. Um, Nintendo wasn't happy that they were gonna get they weren't gonna get very much of the profit because they were doing all the work. So they canceled the deal. Um, yeah, because Sony had most of the control, and so Nintendo said we're not gonna make it anymore. The little things in uh, video game history that we wouldn't have ever thought about or forgot forgot about because of other things. Um, send him on vacation real quick. And it's really cool. So the TES will be taken off the market soon. Let's develop another game. I think I want to do a post-apocalyptic strategy for the PC on that. Come on. There we go. And I think we'll call it... Um, let's call it... Baron. Yes, that works. 3D graphics. Alright, so this is a strategy, so we don't really need to focus on story. I'm going to keep everybody on the same things. Um, I might change some things around just to get the workload a bit different. I think we're going to want gameplay up, an engine about there. And I'm going to put me on gameplay and Paul on story. Just because it's the focus, so I want the guy with the most uh, skill to be focusing on it. Once this goes out, I think we're going to call it for the episode. And um, the next one, hopefully we can get more people going make more money. Um, we did pretty good for today. Definitely dialogue down. AI up. Yeah, we'll just keep it like that. I mean, I'm pretty impressed. Not doing too bad. And let's see if what we got. So the TES is no longer supported. We released one game for it and made two hundred twenty-two thousand dollars on it um, overall during the course of its lifetime. So sound we can bring down graphics up. That is pretty dang impressive. Do you think I can... Um, try and see if I can make it a perfect 100. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> Alright. So then we'll let them finish this up and then we will get all the bugs out of it and we'll release it. See how well this game did. Alright, so our last game is off the market now. Get all the bugs out. Um, discover that some dedicated fans who created a fan game. Let them be. Fan games are always awesome. That's how, like, um, Left 4 Dead and Payday and games like that have come to be is because of fan made games. Alright, so graphics level went up again, or sound went up. Branching story, dialogue tree, 3D graphics v2, and stereo sound. So that'll be for next time. I think next time we'll do a new engine. Um, this game's gonna tank. Oh, five. Oh, thank god. A seven. Alright. <laughs> Looking a little better. A six. Okay. And a six. Yep. 
Alright, so it wasn't too bad. Gained 901 fans. Let's see how much we make. So we, we sold 10,000 copies in the, or units in the first month, and then almost doubled it in the second month. Alright, so I think that's going to do it for today's episode. Like I said, um, if you guys are enjoying this, hit the subscribe button and leave a like. Um, if you have any suggestions, leave a comment. Um, I'm going to be starting some new series soon. If you have, guys have any ideas of what I should play, again, leave a comment, send me a message, that kind of thing. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.